Every year, our class, our graduating class, goes to about 35 different states across the country. Um, we also always have a significant number of students that are articling or working postgraduate in Canada through our dual um, Canada degree with our dual JD degree with the University of Ottawa. And then usually we have students go to one or two other countries as well. Our top market right now is Michigan. Historically, it's always been Michigan. And Chicago has pretty consistently been our second largest market for graduates. Other very significant markets and where we have strong presence of alums include Washington, D.C., California, New York, New Jersey area, Florida, Texas. And we recently hired an employment and alumni relations person whose focus is to expand opportunities outside of Michigan. So there are a lot of exciting outcomes outside and inside of Michigan for our graduates. Our graduates do a wide variety of work. Um, Historically, the largest percentage of our graduates are in private practice. That's not a surprise. That's a pretty consistent trend um, across the country with any graduate of an ABA accredited law school. So we always have somewhere close to 50% of our students going into private practice, which is really just firms. It can be small firms, it can be large firms, it can be mid-sized firms, but that's the bulk of where our graduates do their post-grad work. We also have a very significant number of graduates that go into business and industry. This correlates with what very often are called JD Advantage careers. They're careers in compliance, careers in law firm management, careers in corporations. Um, we tend to have a higher number of graduates, a higher percentage of our graduates every year going into the business and industry than other ABA accredited law schools. So I always tell people when, you can, when you're looking at employment statistics, it can be a little bit overwhelming. But if you're trying to ascertain you know, who, who from this law school wanted a job, wanted a legal job, and couldn't get one, which is frankly what a lot of our admitted students are thinking about, which is great, that's what you should be thinking about. But really, if you look at the seeking graduates, that's going to tell you the category or the number of students that want legal jobs and for whatever reason couldn't find them. All of the other categories are frankly a little bit of noise to some extent um, and our seeking percentage is consistently lower than the national average. For our class of 2016, we had 6.1% of our class who was seeking compared with 8.8% for the national average. 6.1% of graduates seeking equates to roughly seven or eight graduates in every class.